This is part 33 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to bind event handlers to events using bind method in jQuery. One way to bind event handlers to events is by using the jQuery shorthand functions like dot .click, dot .mouse over, dot .mouse out, etc. In the previous sessions of this video series, we discussed how to use this jQuery shorthand functions. Another way to bind event handlers to events is by using the bind method in jQuery. Here is an example. So this selector right here is going to return us a button with id btn click me. And on that we are calling bind method. The first parameter is the name of the event to which we want to bind the event handler. In this case we want to bind the event handler to the click event of this button. So we pass the name of the event as a string. And then the second parameter is the function that we want to call when this click event occurs. So we are calling an anonymous function here. And if you look at this anonymous function, all it's doing is finding another element with id div result. So this is a div element. And within that div, we are displaying the string button clicked when the click event occurs. So let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here we have the button with that id, btn click me, with our jQuery ready function. Let's use the id selector and find that button. So the id of the button is btn click me. And on that, let's call the bind method. So the first parameter is going to be the name of the event. So that's the event to which we want to bind the event handler. And the second parameter is going to be the function that we want to call when click event occurs. So when the click event occurs, call this function. And what we want this function to do is find this div element with id div result. So dollar hash div result and let's use the HTML method and display the string button clicked within that div element. All right, so let's go ahead and save these changes, reload this page, and look at this. When we click the button, button clicked. So here, we're using the bind method to bind click event handler to this button. When this click event occurs, this function gets called. And if you look at this anonymous function, we are not passing the event object. But sometimes, you know, you may need the event object. For example, let's say, when I click this button, you know, I want to get the x and y coordinates of the mouse pointer where the click event occurred. Okay? So to do that, we can use the event object because the event object has got the page x and page y properties. So let's pass event object to this event handler function. And then instead of simply displaying this string button clicked, I'm also going to say button clicked at x equals, we want the x coordinate of the mouse pointer. And to get that, we can use the event object that is coming into this event handler function. And then use the page x property. And to that, let's append y equals the y coordinate. So event dot page y. All right, so let's save the changes and let's reload this page and look at this. When we click the button, we get the x and y coordinates. Depending on where you click, the x and y coordinates change accordingly. All right, is it possible to bind multiple event handlers to the button using the bind method? Absolutely. If you want to bind multiple events, look at this. Here we are binding in our event handlers to click mouse over and mouse out events. Simply separate them with a space. So here we are binding you know, this event handler function to all these three events. Okay, so let's look at that in action. So I want to bind the event handler function to click event, mouse over event, and mouse out event. Okay, when any of these events occur, this function gets called. And look at this here, we are passing the event object to the uh, event handler function. Now I want this piece of code to be executed only if the event is click event. If that's the case, we can use this event object that gets passed. So we can check if event dot type equals click. So if the event is click event, then execute this code. Else if event dot type equals mouse over. Then let's say we want to execute different piece of code. You know, we can specify that here. Else, you know, we want to execute whatever code. Okay. Let's say, you know, 
on mouse over this button you know I want to add a special CSS class so that you know we get the background color we want to change the font as well as the mouse pointer style so let's go ahead and first create a style class so here let's include a section for style and then I'm going to create a style class let's actually call this button style and first of all we want the background color to be red and we want the font weight to be bold and we want the font color to be white and we want to change the cursor to hand so let's use pointer as the style alright so on mouse over what we want to do is we want to add the CSS class to the button element right so to do that to refer to the element we can use again this keyword so dollar this to that we want to add a class so I'm going to use add class method and we are going to specify the class name as button style okay if it is not mouse over or click even then it's going to come to this else part in that case we want to remove that CSS class so I'm going to use remove class okay if it's mouse out we want to remove that CSS class if it's mouse over we want to add that CSS class if it is click we want to display the string you know within the development so let's save these changes and let's reload this page and look at this as we move the mouse over look at the background color changes to red font is bolded and font color is white and the mouse pointer style has changed to a hand symbol on mouse out the class is removed on mouse over class is added if I click the button, you know, button clicked message with X and Y coordinates. Okay, so in this example, we are binding event handler to three events. Okay, all right. Now, how to unbind an event handler? Use the unbind method. So, you know, when we call the unbind method, look at this, we are passing mouse over. So, in this case, it's going to unbind, you know, mouse over event handler okay and if you want to unbind all the even handlers of that button element simply call unbind without any parameters so this is going to remove all the event handlers so let's actually understand these two with an example so at the moment if you look at the page you know we have the button style class and this is the HTML that would produce this and what we want to do is when I click this button disable mouse over effect we want to disable the mouse over effect meaning we want to remove that uh, on mouse over I mean mouse over even handler and when we click enable mouse over effect we want to add mouse over event handler so let's see how to use bind and unbind and achieve that alright so let's go to Visual Studio so this button button enable mouse over effect that's the ID of the button so right here let's find the button with that ID and when we click the button we want to execute this function so here we are using the jQuery shorthand function to associate a click even handler to this button right All right. so when we click button enable mouse over effect what we want to do we want to bind mouse over even handler to this button BT and click me so we want to find that button first so let's use that ID selector and then I'm simply going to say bind and we want to bind mouse over and let's specify the function that we want to call when mouse over occurs so here we are going to simply say dollar this dot add class button style so when we click enable mouse over effect button we are binding mouse over event and an event handler for that now when we click the other button that is btn disable mouse over effect so dollar when we click this button we want to execute another function and what do we want to do we want to unbind mouse over event handler so I'm going to use the same code and instead of bind I'm going to use unbind and we want to unbind the event handler of mouse over event okay so let's save those changes 
let's reload this page and look at this when we mouse over you know we get the mouse over effect now when I click disable mouse over ev effect look at this now when I mouse the mouse over the button we don't have the mouse over effect when I click enable mouse over effect you know look at that that's back in action again and when we click the button we get the message as expected and here is the code that we have just written Thank you for listening and have a great day.